every Sunday morning, it's like hitting a reset button. St. Matthew's is passionate about being loving and inclusive to everyone, to all people from any background. I always was a Christian in my heart. I just didn't know it or I didn't know what it was called until I discovered a church and a faith community that I connected with and that I could relate to and to be told that I was God's beloved. I never heard that before. I needed a place where I could connect with other people and just enjoy my time with the kids. And then the practice evolved and it was more about who are my children becoming? Who was I becoming? But well, we have three small children and wanted to find a place where they could grow up in a community where they saw what church love means, but also where they had the liberty to explore their own questions. I know, you know, some of the kids that have, you know, that have graduated this year, I've, I've known since they were four and five. And just to see how they've you know, become who they are has been just a beautiful experience. So, so excited with Josh, just this past year with Josh and his touch on the whole children and youth minister. The problems in the world can just feel overwhelming. Start with the small, start with what's in front of you, the people that are in your life. Fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night. And now, an angel of the Lord. This church, I would say, is the fact that you are never judged. That's why it's such a diverse group of people. When we first came to St. Matthew's, I brought with me many of the assumptions I had about what church is, what uh, is expected of me. And what struck me, though, is that St. Matthew's really challenged me to leave my assumptions at the door. Sometimes we hear people talk about original sin, but I believe the scripture is telling us that we were created with an original blessing. We were created with the love of Christ in us, and as Christians, we're called to share that love with the world. That's probably one of the most important things that St. Matthews has offered my family, is welcoming open arms. And we had driven past this church several times, you know, when Micah saw the rainbow flag. So that's a big part for me, is a church that welcomes my whole family. When you come into a church, it's, it's scary, you don't know what's expected of you, how to fit in. I've always felt love here. I always feel people are very transparent, very honest, they're just, they're people, you know? provides them with a, a multi-generational group of people to get to know. No people like Dot Wars. My husband and I became charter members, and so that was in November of 62, and I was choir director before Christmas. Ministers come and go, but we still have the church family. There's a core spirit, and that spirit is the spirit of God. Received, transformed, sent. You are received as you are. And you experience that God transformed you. And you are sent to the world. And when I got asked to come here to play in this bell choir, I fell in love with this church. We want people to experience God's love for everyone. Period. Everyone. Period. All. Everybody. Regardless. So St. Matthews, we have been actively involved in a lot of uh, justice ministries. Basically, try to build God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. You see God in action. And you see God in action in the, in the focus people have when they do mission. What is difficult is to change the conditions in our society that lead to so many families being food insecure. 
the meaning of our faith, which is love, un unconditional love, as best as, as we can do it as people. It wasn't just talking about it. People wanted to do work, and that's what they did. I also want to talk about the music. God loves you, so do we, and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen.